So this next one is, uh, it's on our Remember What You Knew Before album. We're doing quite a few off of that one. And uh, I named it after my grandma, it's called Bee Wee. And it's not necessarily so much about her as, uh, as it is about the importance of going to visit your grandma. And uh, so yeah, this one's... Got the upright going there. <laughs> Crossroads Hotel asked us uh, if they would want to do a reunion show. We, uh, of course we do. We love playing our, our old songs together, and uh, it's so good to get all of our old all of our old friends together. Thank you guys so much for coming out. And enjoy the view too. Thank you. 
up and protect you from any harm that falls.
is uh, gonna be all in your face, loud electric stuff, so yeah. So we thought we'd ease in on this. Well, we're gonna do a, an old song. This is an old, old song I wrote. Um, probably the first time I ever experienced true heartbreak. So it's a, it's called Funny Place. Trying to make you work Win, 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 win I'm moving like a toy through comic strip Walking through the pages of someone else's head I'm still coming to From the cannon shot, the trip that you that trip you sent me on when you cut me off Oh, why do you cut me off? Why do you cut me off? Why do you cut me off? Oh, oh. Sitting back trying to relax Sleep like it ain't nothing like it What a peaceful sleep, oh, what a peaceful sleep Oh, when you still loved me Oh, my darling, what a peaceful sleep When you stop loving me Oh, now I'm wide awake now I'm wide awake Now I'm wide awake hey, hey. Look around at the people now Funny faces, funny sounds they make it be Now give me more and make it strong Fill it up and let
so these couple of ones, they are on our Remember What You Knew Before album, which we just so happen to get a bunch of vinyl printed of <laughs> before our last show. So we have quite a bit of vinyl of that album if you guys want to take that home with you. We'll give you a discount and everything. There's something else over there that I didn't even know about until I was unpacking it, which are copies of our very, very, very first EP. And I was like, whoa, we're babies! Uh, because there is a picture of us. And I didn't know that the CDs still existed, but they do. Um, and yeah, it was a little, little throwback moment. This one's called Wait Until the Day. Box. Now the metal is dripping, it's time to pick the lock One thing you can do is remember what you knew before left in this acoustic, acoustic peaceful set. And then it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> but we are gonna, we're gonna kick it up a notch. So this next tune is uh, on an EP that we put out only digitally. Uh, and it's called Four Walls. It's the last four songs that we got a chance to work on all together. And this uh, next one is a song about my grandmother going on to the other, the next life, the next place, up there. <laughs> 
somewhere. It's called Four Walls.
we're going to feature the rhythmic stylings of Miss Stephanie Williams and Miss Claire Adams. The most fun rhythm section to play with. Uh, called I Can't Live Here Anymore. If you guys know the words, sing along, chant it. We're gonna get loud in this next set, give you guys a chance to uh, come say hello. Open C. It's really kind of a to electric land.
I thought it was a nice way to say, shut up, to a person in guitar language. So, so that's where that song came from. We're gonna do a song, um, of one of the last tunes that we recorded as a band. It's on the uh, EP that we put out online. It's called In Love With An Idea. <laughs> Honey, it's okay. again for having us hosting shows up here. It's going to be one of our new favorite venues, I think. Okay, this next one's off the first album.
we're feeling good. How's everyone feeling? We're gonna do a, an old one of my old one of my favorite KG and girl songs. Taking it down a little bit. It's called Earth Angel. It's a song I wrote about the other song of Earth Angel, the Penguin song, and uh, how that song was following me around a bunch at a certain time in my life. And I was like seeing it as a sign. And so sometimes you just have to write songs about those types of things. It feels like something is trying to tell you something. <laughs>
We're sort of back to normal, right? Not, not 100%. You can't book tours without them getting canceled for COVID, so I wouldn't say we're back to normal, but we're getting close, so. Yeah. Feels good to play live music for people that enjoy live music.
I got a little distracted. I looked out and saw a beautiful friend of mine who I just wanted to say hello to, but then I was like, I'm playing a song, I can't say hello. We got a couple more left.
It's a song that I mentioned. Sing it to all of you. Please don't. 
here for being wonderful. And all of you for being here. Thank you again for coming out. This was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys can sing on this one.
our music videos. So happy birthday, you guys! Everybody! Also, everyone, um, Claire has some CDs over there, and Steph and I also have some CDs over there. We have like new projects that we're currently working on, and uh, so if you want to hear the new stuff by all of us, um, you can check it out. Which actually, Claire, I believe, is doing a album release show in a couple of weeks. So, hi, Claire. in a timely manner, but 18 months later is the time, so it's happening. It's the right now. When? What day? October 17th. Oh, is it? <laughs> October 17th at the Rhino.
Way back up on that, way back up on that hill The Crumpletons. <laughs> Next weekend. The 9th. October 9th. <laughs> the 23rd. And then the 23rd. Is Sally. Sally and the Hurts. Right. Okay. I knew I'd get it. Um, that's pretty cool. That's all I got. Ladies and gentlemen, play dead. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah.